Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making a delicious lamb palau. I'm using leg of lamb which has been sliced, cut up, rinsed and ready to cook. So I have all my ingredients ready and we will add them into the pot which I will be using the pressure cooker. So in goes the onion one large onion and all these spices will be listed in the description. Some curry leaves, whole spices, four tablespoons of full cream yogurt. Coming in next will be three cups of cold water. Just incorporate all these spices well, one more ingredient to come in will be the ginger and garlic. In the meantime, let's give it a good mix. Picture the aroma of the spices and the tender lamb filling your kitchen. In goes two tablespoons of ground ginger and garlic. Mix well. A few mint leaves and you leave that to cook for 30 minutes. Now I am just allowing this old spices to release its delicious aroma. I will be adding two large sliced onion and we are going to allow this to fry until golden brown. I added the salt and this is what I'm looking for. For this palau I've used two kgs of lamb and four cups of basmati rice. Soak your rice and leave it aside. The preparation is key, my friend. I bring to you simple recipes. Just follow along and um, I will list all of this step by step in the description. In goes the ground green chilies. Next is the ground ginger and garlic. Just let it simmer for two to three minutes. I'm using a tablespoon of garam masala. In goes the meat. The lamb is, the lamb is cooked and now we will leave this to simmer for six to eight minutes until we see the oil surfaces. So come along my friends and uh, cook this delicious lamb palau. It is so simple and delicious. Dive into the kitchen, try this recipe and create something truly special. So the, the rice has been washed thoroughly and I'm using the broth. So once you, the tip here my friend, is to wash your rice and leave it in the colander so there's no excess water. We ju just using the broth from the meat which is going to be the liquid in this pot. Giving it a good mix. And Leave this to cook for 10 to 12 minutes and your palau is almost done. I sprinkled with some finely chopped coriander leaves. Garnish with the fried onion. And you are now ready to serve. By the end of this recipe, my friend, you'll have a comforting flavorful dish that feels like home. Let's get cooking and turn simple ingredients into something extraordinary. 
I will have this recipe listed in my blog. Go and visit and follow along. Thank you for visiting my channel. Enjoy your day.